Time now for Chamber Talk on a Monday morning, and Nancy Morrissey steps in the studios. Good morning, Nancy. How are you? Good morning, Steve. I asked Nancy a question when she first walked in the door this morning. <laughs> I said, is this our final visit? And you said no. And I said no. No. <laughs> well, no. good. I, um, I'm, I'm helping. I, You know, this is the week after the banquet. So much happens beforehand, but there's wrapping up things to do, and I, I said I would help with that. And then they're in the process of, of interviewing and stuff like that, so I said I would help. In the <laughs> transition. Week too, yeah. In the so, transition. So, but and my, first, my first trip is going to be to Austin, Texas. Uh, I think I've talked about that to see... Catherine, I haven't solidified those plans yet. So, well, if you go in the next couple of weeks, you can go to the South by Southwest, the big well, music festival down there. No, what what weekend's that? Oh, I think it, maybe it's like the weekend of the twenty third. Wow, yeah. You I might want to you might want to avoid Austin at that That's time. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's on my it's on my uh, music bucket list to South by Southwest, which is a all arts uh, festival. I think down she's there. talked about you it. Know, I'd love to go sometime. And uh, I know. Um, Does she Dale gotta, can and... I stay on her couch if I go sometime? <laughs> Maybe a small <laughs> spot in the garage. <laughs> Dale and um, Julie Stevens goes down there for music festivals too. Uh, this might be one of the ones they go down to quite a bit. But, well, well, I'd love um, to go sometime. So. Well, well, you're in. So it's the transition period. Yep. Um, so you're going to be around just a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. Um, just real quickly, and then we'll talk about the, the banquet, which I know is a huge success. But uh, the board still accepting applications, or is no. that process done? And now they're they're vetting applicants. That that's exactly what they're they're doing. They've gone for, through the first round. They're going to be doing the second round this week. And uh, do so they have a timeline by chance? Well, you know, Sooner it depends than on yeah. who they hire also. I mean, is it someone that could come instantly, two weeks? Is it out of state? You know, it takes a little longer then. So it, it's a whole wait and see type thing. But uh, um, we've got some wonderful applicants and the interview process is going great. So we'll see what happens. All right. So, again, uh, we we'll may have some news in the next uh, week to 10 days on a new chamber director. In the meantime, uh, your swan song was uh, Friday night, right? Well, they, they surprised me, yes. And uh, they called me up on stage, and they gave me a, a, a cowboy hat with a tiara. and Which just seems natural if you know Nancy, a tiara. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve, they gave me a standing ovation. I mean, I was just so overwhelmed, um, brought to tears. And um, I, if anyone knows John and I, they, they know that, that we're big movie buffs. We love movies. And it just brought to mind when Sally Fields accepted her Academy Awards and says, you like me, you really like me. <laughs> I was I was very pleased but the banquet oh my gosh Steve the 2016 annual awards banquet rodeo was a great success it was presented by Midwest One Bank the outstanding citizen community service award sponsored by Libertyville Savings Bank was wonderful the recipients of the two recipients of that award was Larry Nash and Nancy Horace. No, uh, I'm not familiar with uh, Larry. I don't know if I've maybe I've met Larry, but I'm not. I'm, he was a dentist here in town. He has retired. He's worked a lot on the Mazden Barns. He's worked a lot on oh, the I trails. Oh, no, 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 I know Larry. Yes, yeah, thank you for saying Mazden Barns. Thank you very on much. The Habitat yeah. for Humanity. That's right. uh, he's gone out of the country with with his dental part uh, of it. He's just a very hands on humble wonderful man and then nancy Hor- horace has been as- affiliated with the beautification commission uh since its inception uh she's been the chair for years she's been with the fairfield art association she's been with the jefferson county fund she's just been so active to uh the planning for the um Playground Center down by O.B. Nelson Park. Uh, what happened at uh, all the construction and stained glass and, and, and window plans for the St. Mary Catholic Church? So wonderful uh, recipients. Um, Larry, Larry, unfortunately, could not be at the banquet. He had a um, medical problem that came up, but the son Todd was there to accept the uh, award, and uh, it was Fantastic. Of course, that's always at the very end of the night, 
and the highlight of the whole evening. Um, just to go over some of the sponsors for the uh, awards, like I said, Midwest One Bank was the presenting sponsor, and Libertyville Savings Bank was the Outstanding Citizen Community Service Award. Uh, High V was the program sponsor. The award uh, sponsors, which um, l- let me go over those once again. The Business Improvement o- Award sponsor was Shaus Voorhees. The New Young Business Award sponsor was Sunnybrook Living Care Center. Progress Award sponsor, First National Bank. Rising Star Award, Danaher Oil Company. A Green Business Improvement Award sponsor, Global ID Group. Uh, Interactive Media Award sponsor was Hawthorne Direct. Impact Award sponsor, First National, was Cambridge Investment Research. Wellness sponsor was Jefferson County Health Center. And Community Improvement uh, Award sponsor was Foss, Kuyken, and Cochran. Uh, the Community Improvement Award recipients was the Fairfield Community School District, which, of course, was for the uh, whole total renovation of the high school. And also the Mazden Barnes. Uh, They have a whole new barn out there to house some of their equipment and stuff. So um, go to our website. We have all the listing of all the recipients of all the uh, uh, awards. Our website is fairfieldiowa.com. I do want to read the committee names and thank them. Uh, Sue Gale, our president and also chair, uh, of the 2016 banquet with, and Sue is from Fairfield Nutrition, Gavin Hamas, Sears Hometown Store. He, um, he created a, an, an entrance way into the whole facility there, the whole Fairfield Arts and Convention Center room. Wonderful. Jane Ann Harhurl, wonderful person who provided the saddles and bridles and lots of stuff of, of the, Decor. She also, oh, and I'm going to interject here also because I was well dressed. I, I had a couple people that uh, helped me with my rodeo theme, and I want to say thank you, Steve. I was <laughs> I was well booted that night with 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 boots you provided me, and also Jane Ann Harrell. Uh, she provided the um, my necklace and earrings for for me. So thank you. Um, also on the committee is Johnine Parker from the Jefferson County Health Center and Ryan. Renicky from Cambridge Investment Research. He helped with the whole um, PowerPoint presentation. Johnine Parker, she had her hands in everything. I mean, she just helped with everything. Uh, uh, amazing help. And Sarah, S- S- Sarah Satterstrom from the Sweet Spot was, oh, hands on with everything, great with the decor. Uh, was down on the floor still Friday night at five, I mean Thursday night at five o'clock, painting different signs. Uh, it was fun. It was a wonderful, wonderful night. And congratulations to all the award recipients: Agri Industrial Plastics, Edward Jones County Boyer, Elite Tire and Auto Center, Fairfield Dental Clinic. Fairfield Golf and Country Club, Flirt Clothing Boutique, Jefferson County Health Center, Kiyosaka Lumber, Mike and Nikki's Pizza and Steakhouse, Natal Broadband, Platinum Salon and Spa, Washington State Bank, Impact Fitness and Sports Performance, Fairfield Parks and Recreation, Werner Elmker Audio Visual Studio, Libertyville Savings Bank, Creative Edge Master Shop, First National Bank in Fairfield, Eyed Gymna. Gymnastics, and of course the Fairfield Community School District and Mazden Barnes, and our wonderful citizens of the year, Larry Nash and Nancy Hohoris. What a wonderful testament to all the wonderful businesses and uh, ge- generous businesses too, and volunteers in Fairfield. Um, the chamber loves you all. And works began on next year's. Uh Banquet already. Absolutely, we're already talking about a theme, and <laughs> and, and uh, again, you know me, uh, Nancy. I'm an idea guy. I give ideas. That's what I do. I'm a giver. And your idea is again. I'm going to say uh, zombie apocalypse. 
It just seems, <laughs> just seems like it should be a natural. Well, I will take that to the committee and, and see. They'll probably put it with all my other suggestions. All right. Well, again, congratulations on another successful chamber banquet. And again, uh, to, congratulations to uh, Nancy and Larry for being honored as uh, citizens of the year. Let's jump into our calendar. All right. Um, the, our member to me- member this year is 10% off room rental at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. And of course, that's where our Fairfield annual banquet was, was held. Wonderful facility, very easy to work with. It was a wonderful location for anything you want to have. So 10% off of room rental at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center for all chamber members with their member-to-member card. Going into this week, what's happening? There's a free diabetes class uh, today from 9 to 4.30 p.m. at the Jefferson County Health Center. Tomorrow is the chamber ambassador meeting at the Fairfield Art. Oh, Fairfield. I've got them on my mind, don't I? At the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce. That's at 9.30 a.m. tomorrow. Then right after that, we're going to an ambassador visit and ribbon cutting at Signs and Designs. And owners uh, Steve Mendenhall and Dave Snodgrass will be there. They have uh, opened up a second location. They have one in Mount Pleasant. But now they have one at 402 South 20th Street, and if you need anything, any kind of sign, banner, poster, mural, uh, screen printing, embroidery, they can vehicle wraps, uh, they can do it on metal, plastic, wood. Uh, so that is Signs and Designs Ambassador Visit on Tuesday. The Mississippi Regional Blood Center is having a blood drive that's going to be at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds from 2 to 7 p.m. Then the Chamber Golf Blast Committee is going to meet at the Fairfield Golf and Country Club, and that's at 4 p.m. on Tuesday. It's 31 Tournament at the Dew Drop, Tuesday at 6 p.m. And Caleb Hall- Hawley is going to be at Cafe Paradiso from 8 to 10. Wednesday, beginning knitting at the at-home store from 6 p.m. 30 to 8 30 p.m. and it's open mic night at Cafe Paradiso from 8 until 10. Thursday is the Chamber Board of Directors meeting at the uh, High V Club Room. That's always from noon until 1. And then the Mississippi Regional Blood Center is having their second blood drive of the week and that's going to be at Sunny Brook Home Care from 1 until 4. Apocalypso Tantric Noise Choir Cafe Paradiso Thursday night from 6 until 8. And Icon Thursday is happening at Icon Gallery at 7.30 p.m. It's going to be the Jerry Felix Exhibit Walkthrough. Buckets and Boards, a comedy percussion show at the Sondheim Center for the Performing Arts, and that's Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Friday. Another Mississippi Regional Blood Center drive is going to be at the Jefferson County Health Center from 8 until noon. The Rotary Club holds their weekly meeting at the Fairfield Golf and Country Club at noon. They're going to have a presentation entitled Stories from Dell. The Young Professionals of Fairfield, it's bowling night. It's going to be at the Flamingo Lanes Bowling Alley at 7 p.m. Remember, the ages for that group is 21 to 41 years of age. Nashville songwriters C.J. Gaston and Casey Edgar at the Sondheim Center for the Performing Arts at 7.30 p.m. And the Fairlings at Cafe Paradiso from 8 until 2, 8 until 10 The Fairfield Public Library is having a free film on Friday night, and it's going to be Brooklyn, which was nominated for three Academy Awards. Saturday, Fairfield Farmers Market uh, at the Fairfield Senior Center from 9 until 2. Remember, um, Steve, a couple weeks ago we were talking about when they actually had their first outdoor. Yes, I do. And it's going to be that first Saturday in May, and then after that, it'll also be on Wednesdays. So the first Saturday in the se- May, the seventh, right? And May seventh. Then and then after that, it'll be on Wednesdays and 
and Saturdays. Uh, Mommy and Me, Pins and Needles Sewing Group at Go Jindy from 10 until 12. Knit the Platypus with Rosie at the at-home store from 10 until noon. It's a low-maintenance microchip and vaccination clinic at Noah's Ark Animal Click Clinic from 11 until 2. And then uh, it's, oh my goodness, Saturday is the Fairfield High School prom. And it's going to be held at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. And Sunday, of course, is Sunday Family Fun Day at the Fairfield Aquatic Center from 1 until 5. My gosh, just going over this and reading all the different entertainment things we have here in town. Um, No boredom happening here. I mean, (laughs) (laughs) it's, it's definitely another full week right here in Fairfield, Iowa. A couple of things to put on your calendar. A week from Thursday will be the uh, annual Rotary Auction and Raffle. Absolutely. On the 21st. Tickets still available from Rotary members. I know you can pick them up here at the radio station as well. $10, and that gets you into their a raffle, which you could win anywhere from $100 to $500 cash. Plus, you can also go to their auction to benefit this year the uh, collab and the Lord's Cupboard. And then a, a week from this Friday will be the Relay for Life here in downtown Fairfield as well. So Both wonderful events and been happening for a long time. I think the um, Relay for Life is right here on the yep, square. Right here in and Central they Park. haven't had it on the square before if i if i remember I, reading that yeah, correctly i don't believe so yeah so um both wonderful events that are a long running events that are happening here in fairfield also yes oh i was just going to say um <laughs> here within the last uh, 30 45 days 60 days maybe the chamber unveiled their new uh, website right absolutely it, and you're doing a couple of seminars for chamber owners or chamber members uh, to uh, take ownership and really maximize their exposure on the website, right? Yes, yes. That is the one of the main reasons why we created this new website uh, or had this new website created for us. It gives the ability for each chamber member to not only have their own page, but to, but to be able to work on their own page so they can change out out. Uh, pictures they can put their own events on their their web website it's a much more visually pretty page for each uh, of them so that's fairfieldiowa.com remember when you when when you go to the search you can type in any word that's going to be in the business's name their address their description it brings up their website listing but then make sure to t- Click on more info because then that takes you deeper into our chamber website to their individual page, which has the links to their Facebook and their pictures and any other information they want everyone to see. You might be asking, why Why would I need access to that? A perfect example is our, our emails here at the radio station will change on Wednesday of this week. And so um, we just take ownership. We'll go in and change our email address. Now it'll be tammy.jones at alphamediausa.com as the contact in there. And we can take care of that and don't have to worry about it getting lost in transition somewhere. Absolutely. Yeah, or so. trying to remember all the different right. places you need to contact because you have a, say the Rotary Club has a new president, you know, or, or, or you have new email addresses. Everybody can just do this on their own, which is wonderful. So, yes, those classes are next week. Wednesday, it's going to be from noon until 1. Thursday, from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. And Friday, from 8 until 9. And it's going to be at the Hy-Vee Club Room. Real quickly, I know you mentioned Warner Elmer earlier. Yes. Well, I, I, I happen to notice over the weekend he posted a few pictures of the uh, banquet. Will you have those on your Facebook page? I'm sure they all will right, be. <laughs> all right, all right. Nancy, you have a great day, okay? Thank you, Steve. It's you too. friend Nancy Morrissey from the uh, Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce. Again, the banquet was this past weekend. Log on to their Facebook. We talked about their website, but log on to their Facebook page as well for uh, complete uh, details on some of the upcoming events and see some uh, fine pictures from Warner uh, from the banquet on Friday night. And you can see Nancy in her cowboy hat slash tiara and cowboy boots.